Hey everybody, I'm Laura and today we're going to talk about a question I thought was so important it needed its own video. That's right, we're going to talk about the Suzy Q and why you want to have your toe down. Let's get dorky. Pie asks, can you say something more about not lifting your toes in the front foot on the Suzy Q? You said in the video that it's from history, but what do you mean? Such a great question. Honestly, the whole because of history thing was what was told me by the people who taught me the Suzy Q. But I understand that it's not good enough, so I did some digging and this is what I found. From what I can understand, Suzy Qs were invented by black dancers and are a part of their vernacular jazz tradition. So they are the experts on the Suzy Q. And every time you see a black dancer from back in the day, the toe is always down. Keep punching, AKA the Big Apple, toe down. This other version of the Big Apple, toe down. Al Mins, Pepsi Bethel, and Leon James in the Spirit Moves, toe down. Don Hampton, this is a modern video, but she danced back in the day and as you can see, Toe down. This dude with the insane head roll. Toe down. Aside, what is that dude's name? Do you know? Let me know. That is so nasty. The whole clip is so nasty. It's in the description. There's a clip where Leon James makes fun of dancers who are bad at the Suzy Q, and even in that clip, his toes down. The toe down thing even crossed the color line. Ina Ray Hutton, who was a white band leader and a good dancer back in the day, has a song called the Suzy Q where she only does like an eight and a half of the Suzy Q. And in that clip, her toes down. Now all of this consistency made me suspicious. Maybe it's more than just a styling, but an inherent part of how you do the move. For example, when you look at all these dancers, their posture is forward. Now if your weight's on your front foot, it's gonna be more strenuous to lift your toe up. Now not all of the footage of the Suzy Q is done by people who look like they know how to do the Suzy Q. There is a lot of footage of people who, in my opinion, aren't very skilled. It looks like maybe they haven't grown up with jazz and don't understand vernacular jazz movement. Perhaps they're trying it on as a novelty or to fit the premise of the movie that they're in. And probably these are a lot of the people that Leon James is making fun of. Now, a few of the men in these clips had their toe up. All of the women that I saw still had their toe down, possibly because they were wearing high heels. And again, if you're balancing on that heel, it's very strenuous to pop your toe up. Something else I find very interesting are the arms. Now, if you learn Suzy Q today, a very common variation you might learn is hands clasped together. Leon James actually does this in this clip where he's making fun of bad dancers. However, this variation is very rare among the jazz dancers back in the day. Don does it. Dude with a nasty head roll does it. Ina Ray Hutton does it. But other than that, Al Mins, snapping and clapping. Pepsi, arms outstretched. Leon, scarecrow arms with big hands. Big Apple dancers, all clapping, in both clips. Meanwhile, the white dancers, literally 100% of the footage I found of the white dancers, had the hands clasped together. Very important. I am not saying that hand clasped together is a bad or ugly variation. Ina Ray Hutton does it, and I think she kills it. Don Hampton does it. She's a legit legend and old timer. Dude with the nasty head roll does it, and he has a nasty head roll and is in one of the most amazing Lindy Hop clips I have seen. One of the main differences between the people that look like they grew up with the movement versus the people that don't look like they grew up with the movement, in my opinion, is the people who look like they grew up with the movement look like they're dancing with rhythm. They're not just clasping their hands and wiggling their foot around. No, they have some kind of propulsive groove that is moving their bodies and connecting that Suzy Q to the rest of their dancing. It connects their Suzy Q to the rhythm section of the jazz music that they're dancing to. And I'm sure that this is informed by years of being in the culture of jazz and of jazz dancing. Anyway, if you want to see way too many versions of the Suzy Q, I've linked all of the versions that I found in the description. Of course, I could be wrong about all of this and have woefully incomplete sources, so if you find anything that contradicts me, leave a comment, let me know. I love to learn. Big thank you to the people of Patreon for helping to make this video free for people like you, and if you want to join them, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed this or you didn't enjoy this, leave a comment and let me know if you want to see more or less of this kind of stuff. Half of the money from this channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art because Lundy Hop is a black dance. And of course, in my opinion, the best way to learn how to dance is to do it. Mm -hmm.